Uh, this one was made for a good friend of mine. To the girl who doesn't know how beautiful she really is. I wish I could take your self-esteem, dip it in liquid gold, just so you can see how valuable you are. Diamond and crest are conscious of 14 carats of unachieved potential you never knew was there. I wish I could show you sunsets and waterfalls on handheld mirrors so you can see the beauty you deny in yourself. And take that same mirror, use the glare from the radiance you give off to blind your mind from words like ugly, unattractive, fat, tweak, dumb whore, dyke, any other negative articulation you can think of. And oh yeah, that one word I hate more than any other. Can't. Because you can be and are just as beautiful as any other person out there. Don't you dare not believe it. Because I don't know when beauty started being defined by big tits and ass, how well your body fits in that dress, or how much of this gunk you can smear on your face. Call me old fashioned. But what happened to beauty being your big dream, soft hearts, and the soul so deep you can fit oceans in it? Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> true beauty lies somewhere in between a confidence so powerful to the point it's almost dangerous and happiness. I know it sounds simple, but we take it so much for granted being happy for who we are and what we are given and learning to love ourselves from our skin right down to our core because only when you do that you can ask others for more. And if I could, I wish I could tilt the head of your self-worth back, give it CPR, respirate your, respirate your, um, your self-worth with courage, scented oxygen so you can come to love yourself like I've come to love you. Like, I've come to love every beautiful person out there, and if I could, I would cut my heart out, dissect it into little pieces, just so I can give a little more love to everybody like you. Tell them, take my heart, plant it deep in their chest, water it with close friends and a new mindset. Mine likes intimate conversations and a stack full of 80s romance flakes. All I'm saying is you need to care for it, because your love without care is like plant without sunlight, and if you give it care, your love will blossom and grow and bloom until it engulfs you like wildflowers and you can be nothing but beautiful. I wish I can tell you that I see stories in your eyes and your journeys in your voice so know when I look at you it's nonfiction. I've seen your plot unfold as you try to assume you're ending too early never realizing that you, you are the climax. You are the best part of your tale. So please listen to my words that try to redirect your story from the girl who never could be to the girl who always will be. Beautiful.